Adonai, mine children, mine brethren, and the very body of the universal heart that we share together as one. Receive of me now, in the spirit of truth, the holy comforter of my person. For I am all around you now, interpenetrating, and your heart is mine, and I invite you to partake of my heart, that it shall be yours. For God hath prepared your way, I and the Father have been with you since the moment of your conception. We are aware that you're here, each one of you. We know of your struggles. We are in attunement with your challenges. Our heart is there during your concerns. And we have a way to show you how to turn your conflict into cooperation. Into collaboration with us. Through the power of communion, I say. Faith communion. trustfulness in your heart and mind. Trust, I say, in the goodness of God. O Universal Father, Mother, Son of Paradise, Infinite Spirit, Thou infinite paradise deities. Three infinite persons. Indescribable. And yet one deity. How may you ask, can God be allowing such diversity as each one of you have uniqueness. And yet you are one. We are one. And yet we have unique origins and persons. O Paradise Trinity, and God the sevenfold upon which I come. Paradise adjuster within each mind and heart. This is relationship, everyone, with the eternal God. Personal and perpetual spiritual relation. Intimate. Vulnerable. 
transparent and tender. This is the way I show you how to enter into the kingdom of personal relations with the spirit of life who lives in you. The life that you are already and you are becoming more of him. I come that humanity claim what they are and begin to more earnestly work out their evolution which leadeth unto light and everlasting life. So receive of the spirit of truth and allow me to renew your mind and heart unto the glory of God. I say to the faithful ones, I come that you have life everlasting. That you make that eternal connection to the living one. And that you raise your existence unto an immortality. Is that not worth your devotions? Does that not hold value to all your consecrations? To become an immortal creature. Thus I come with the mighty host of heaven a vast federation of beings, a planetary government, and a government of the universe, that all creatures be elevated by grace, by generosity, and by God's glory. So receive now of the government for the planet, the host of heaven. Receive of the mother's spirit who worketh through and with the host of heaven. Receive of her Holy Spirit and join us, your brothers and sisters, ascended and permanently free. Receive and rejoice, I tell you. Rejoice that God is infinite goodness. unfathomable beauty. If you were to look upon him, you would cry for a hundred years out of being touched by his beauty. Receive of the infinite spirit, the universe mother, 
and the planetary government. Breathe in her spirit now. Allow the host of angels and ascended ones to bathe you in the majesty of love. Love, I say. in his love. And say, I release my fear. I release my opinion. us, beloveds. And ye shall walk free forever. Forever. I tell you, you are exchanging the temporary and allowing the forever. I come for those with the faith open and available to make this exchange with me. Mortality for immortality. Temporary love for the all permanence of God's love and His mercy. Receive of His love now. Let His mercy bathe you in forgiveness. Simply say, O oh God, my source and creator, thank you for your mercy. Thank you. For your forgiveness. Thank you. For showing me the way to you. Oh God.
breathe in his love. For you are each worthy to receive his love. Breathe. O Heavenly Father, Mother of all life, may all creatures upon this world now receive this healing. All who will receive, I say, the waters of healing, of life, are upon you now. Be thou healed, for I come to raise you unto life. Take of me. I exchange with you your mortal suffering for eternal ease and joy. Son, for I dwell right within you.
blessed seraphim. Every creature, the animal kingdom, the human, elemental and electron, midwares, receive of his peace. Verily do I say unto each one who hath their faith awake and alive, first shall come understanding, then its application, and then ye shall have what ye seek transformation in the light of God's presence. Yet first the mind must be renewed with the right ideas, the character must become ennobled with the right choices. The priorities must become singular, I tell you, upon the one kingdom of life, the everywhere presence of the Almighty God. For he is everywhere and within you. Just now I bring him closer to me. Taketh mine hand, I bring you closer to He.
For it is our desire that you know that you live and move in the eternal, that your being is of the eternity. And that there is a plan for you to establish yourself in him. I am come unannounced to gather mind flock those with childlike faith and trust. Receive of thine indwelling adjuster I say allow him to prepare your way as he and I are one Permit him be thou his priority. And ye shall gain that closer proximity to the living God. shall make thyself one with us.
I say, come, follow me. Rejoice that ye have found the pathway to your freedom from every conflict and concern. I come to reveal to you the personal nature and the goodness of God. Leave behind all erroneous ideas and venture forth, knowing that our source, creator, center, is of infinite beauty and goodness. I say, leave behind all thine evolutionary ideas. God is ever merciful. He loves you. He cares. And as you care for him, so shall you awaken this association with us. As you care for life, for the Father is life. And as you care for life, so shall you learn to create only life, not death, nor destruction, but life, order, and harmony. life. Receive of his harmony now. Let your existence enter his order. By the power of your faith, your caring for him and your love for life. Faith in the infinite, unseen, and unknowable. Faith shall deliver each one of you. A wholehearted faith allows you to enter this cooperation, this concentration, this collaboration. Faith Hear mine word, faith, beloved, a faith that embodies you, 
wherein your entire mortality is emanating faith. I amplify your faith now, beloveds, that we make it wholehearted all throughout your person. Let this faith and its inherent trust overwhelm you. I say, I come to smooth out your existence. To help you. To bring forth all that is in you, awaiting. For I say, each of you are as a seed of eternity, which must be watered. The sun must begin to glow upon that seed. And ye shall sprout upward unto the very glory of God. I say, ye shall sprout, blossom, actualize all that is within you, all the goodness, the truth, and the beauty a thousand other qualities.
wherever am I with you? Always around you. Together, walking with you into light and your destiny in the Father's life. As you each seek, and as you find, and as you become, so do you fulfill yourself. I say seek, find, become, and fulfill. It is this purpose that I offer to you. The fulfillment of your existence, the very next step from mortality to immortality, from darkness and immaturity to light, and mastery. Is this not what you seek? To let the sunshine beat upon that seed of eternity in you. To let the water of transformation soak completely that seed, that it soften and it become, that it sprouts unto the next stages of life for each one of you. Each one, God knows you. He knows we're speaking right now, for he is here as Father, Son, and all around, and within, and at his residence. He knows you, as do I. As you begin to partake of the, the right approach to live your existence, 
so shall all your questions be answered. All your problems will resolve. All your confusion will be made luminous. So ask not how to resolve, ask how to follow and learn and become. To follow, to learn and to become. First, you must learn to follow. It is a law. To follow by learning and applying. This is a law, beloveds. To follow, to learn, to apply, and to become. And how do you follow? By reading, by responding, by reflecting, I tell you, by revealing. And even by your remembrance. follow is to release yourself from those ideas that have no basis in God's fact. Release and absorb those ideas that shall raise you into his promise. Even now, to follow is to place your ear upon my word. To follow is to amalgamate your mind with my mind. If your mind is rebellious and it seeks its own ideas, then who are you following? For I say to follow me is to have eternal life.
follow is to surrender all rebellion, all willful stubbornness, all sophistication to be a child in the arms of the infinite. This is your destiny. And the quicker you attain to it, the more ye shall achieve. I say, put aside the mind that pretends that images, that approximates with interpretation. Enter my mind. We're in peace shall flow. Universal Father, we commune with you. by being willing to share everything with you and receiving everything possible from you. To come into union is this communion that I speak of. When I say, enter, engage, express, thou beloved, I speak of this communion. Coming into union. And allowing the Father in you to govern everything. Now do you walk with me. For in these two thousand years, My gospel has not been lived, nor understood, neither actualized. I come that you know firsthand my teaching. its ideas,
that you ennoble yourselves to lift those ideas unto an ideal, a priority and a purpose maketh the idea become an ideal. Purpose, priority, and the purity of your motivation. These three allow you the conversion of my gospel idea unto an ideal to live. Begin to receive now the renewing of your mind unto the ideas of the Father of eternity. Be thou willing partake and to release.
I want to give you a chance to express your, your own thoughts here. You can write in the chat and I'll have a look. As you learn to die to the little things and awaken into the greater, even as you live in the body of flesh, so shall you have peace in your transition. Humanity lives in a body of tremendous fear. And each one of you who come forward, you have the opportunity to release that fear. I say you are learning how to exchange the fear and the darkness, the density of matter for the light and the life of the everlasting God. I'm here showing you how to make that exchange. Patricia, you must learn how to die to the false and to live for the true. That would be the great beauty. To, to die to the false and to live the truth. then all will be well. Death 
is not part of God's plan. For the Father is life, everyone. I bid you peace on this glorious Sunday, everyone. It holds promise and possibility. Adonai unto each one of you. Adonai, gracias. Bendiciones. Muchas gracias.